All right, well, I'm about to go get my face burned off. We're gonna go do what's called the blue light. I'm gonna take off this outer layer of my skin. I'm gonna get rid of some of these splotches, so I'm gonna shave. Maybe the last time for about two weeks, I'm gonna shave. See you in a minute. All right, so there's the baby face one last time. We're about to head over to the dermatologist. I believe we gotta forgive and make amends. All right, time to go get the face burned off. All right, so about to head into the dermatologist, talk about it just a little bit. Dermatologist, I've been going now for about nine months, and he's he's basically frozen the different spots on my face, on this side and that side, and it seemed like each time I'd go, he was kind of like, I don't, I just don't know if I'm getting all this or not. So he recommends doing this blue light uh, therapy, maybe I don't know if that's what you call it, um, but. It's gonna basically put a cream all over my face. That, and then I'm gonna lay down underneath this blue light for about an hour and 15 minutes. And it's supposed to, I'm getting out of it, is basically burn off the outer layer of my skin or burn any pre-cancerous kind of cells on my face. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna document what I can and see uh, what happens and hopefully be able to share it with you. I hope I come out and have a brand new five-year-old face, but I know it's gonna be different. Anyways, see you on the inside. All right, so I came in and now I'm in a room all by myself and they didn't <clears throat> they didn't know which part of the body they were gonna do. The lady was like, what part of the body are we doing the blue light on? So I had to tell them my face, so hopefully that's okay. Um, maybe she just didn't know. Maybe we'll be all right. Anyways, I'm gonna document what I can. See you in a bit. All right, so they put some cream on my face and then they stuck me inside of this machine. I don't know if you can see it or not. And I am looking, I've got my goggles on. And I'm just being here, the change of time was being here for 30 minutes. Let you in here just a little bit. Anyway, so. Yeah, so they put a bunch of cream, they scraped my face some, and I'm in here for 30 minutes. And it could be good, I don't know. I'm sitting here listening to some music, got a fan blowing my feet. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'll see you back here in a little bit. Bye. All So just cut them in and I've got six minutes left of this. It's not too bad. You know, it's you got a little fan down here blowing on me and I'm just sitting here. I imagine if this was an hour, it's gonna be a lot longer. So they changed it to only 30 minutes. Supposedly some study came out that showed that 30 minutes of this is just as beneficial as an hour. So you're basically wasting time doing all that. Anyways, I'll see you in a little bit. This is what I've been in. Yeah. All right, so that was weird. They cut it off. They gave me a rag, said you can wash your face, and I washed my face and walked out. So 30 minutes. Here we are back in my office, and uh, 
That was just not a horrible experience at all. I don't feel like my face has done anything. The only thing you can see really on my face is where the goggles are. I didn't do anything. Maybe it'll pop out later. I don't, I don't know, but you see my face right there? The only thing it left marks on was the goggles. I was expecting it to be red and hurting. But anyways, there you go. There's your blue light. If you're, don't be afraid of this. This was one of the easiest things I've ever experienced in my life. He acted like it was gonna be very painful and uh, doing it for 30 minutes instead of the hour is supposed to be just as effective, but less painful. That was, he kind of emphasized that, my doc did. So we'll find out. Um, I don't know, we're pretty good. Not a bad experience at all. We will see you. Tay-Tay, you ready to see my new face? Yes. Come here. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. My new face. Oh! <laughs> what do you think about that? Cool. Does it look good? Yes. Does it look different? No. Does it look the same? No. Is it a little bit different? Yeah, there's a lot. You cut, you <laughs> cut it off. You cut, you cut your hair off. <laughs> Well, they're supposed to they're supposed to burn some of my skin off, but I don't know. You see a line? Where's a line? Maybe there's like a line right there. Maybe that's where they burn some. Anyways, here's my new face, and I'll I'll give you updates as it heals up. Yes. You like Daddy's new face? Yes. All right, it's been right at twelve hours since I got the blue light. I'm starting to turn red. They're all over, getting red as can be. And basically what I've experienced is um, a tingling on and off all day, and I've been throwing Neosporin on there. Um, one time I stepped outside in the sun, and you get this, the, it got real intense, the tingling and all. So I guess I'm cooking real slow. But I am now red like a lobster. Took 12 hours, and I'll keep you updated. See you in 12 hours. All right, it is 24 hours later. I feel like I've been sunburned all the way around. Tingling from here, all the way across my nose and right over there, but it's all kind of up in this area. I don't know if they did more stuff to it, but if you look at me, you can see with the light, my eyes look like I've been wearing sunglasses and I got sunburned on my face. I wonder if I could have saved some money and just gone and burned myself. Anyway, so 24 hours later, tingling, that's really about it. It's been worth it so far. All right, folks, so check it out. It is 36 hours later, I'm trying to turn where the shadows are in, but the red has moved from here. You can see it's a lot of red right there. And it's starting to move up and around my forehead and around over here. So it's like I'm getting a little bit redder over these 36 hours. At 48 hours, I'm wondering what it's gonna be like. I might look like a lobster. Let's see. Thanks for paying attention. All right, so here we are. This is two days, exactly 48 hours after the burning of the face or the blue light on the face. I'll try to give you a close up, see what's going on. It doesn't seem to be any more red than yesterday after 36 hours. You know, it looks you know, like it's supposed to. You see a red spot there. Red, red, red. This actually doesn't feel bad at all. See my spots. This will probably be my last video for you to see what's going on. I'm expecting, like any other, you know, sunburn for this to just maybe peel. And that's about it, but maybe not. And that's gonna dry it out. So this has actually been, for the most part, painless. A few little tingling, a couple little burn, you know, spots when I'm out in the sun for two days. But other than that, it's all, it's worth it. If this takes care of my skin, uh, I'm gonna ask my dermatologist, should I do this every year? You know, kind of like a teeth cleaning, let's do a face cleaning and then things like that because I spend so much time outside. Anyways, appreciate you watching. If you like this stuff, like, subscribe, leave comments. 
I'll give you updates. If you want to know how it looks in a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month later, I'll comment. I'll even take some photos and put it on, on the comments, let you see what's going on. Let me know. Blue light therapy or blue light burning, whatever you want to call it. Good stuff. Go get you some if you need it. And thanks again. Like, subscribe, make comments. Thank you.